Ah, oh, there's the. I never thought I'd be back. I'd, I'd go to Long Beach and race. I just really never did. After a long career, Jimmy returns to where his racing dreams began. Well, I have vivid memories of parking at one of the hotels or one of the general parking lots. Um, you know, it's blocks away, and there was this distinct indie car sound with the high-pitched rev of the engine. Um, you can literally hear the car go by in the air that kind of tumbles off of the car and, and the noise that it makes. And the, the whole approach of walking up to the pedestrian bridge and having my first glance at a car going by, I can remember my you know, heart rate racing and goosebumps and the sound and, uh, and then you know, watching a car fly by. In the late 90s, um, Chevrolet pulled out of IndyCar racing and they suggested that if I wanted a career in motorsports, I needed to move to North Carolina and pursue NASCAR. And in a short period of time, I got my act together and bought a one-way ticket and moved to Charlotte and, uh, and things really came together at that point. There are many successes in Jimmy's racing career, but the determination to overcome obstacles doesn't stop. I was caught a little off guard with just how rough the track was and how low of grip the track had. So, you know, the first lap or two, we kind of do an install lap to make sure the systems are working on the car. And, you know, I looked around, had this huge smile under the helmet. And then after that install lap took place and it was time to get to work, um, the reality of the challenge set in. I, I very much got into my racing headspace. These street circuits gain grip as every car goes around and puts down the sticky race rubber that's on the tire. Um, so day one is really just trying to find my bearings. Day two, um, we're, we're really focused on qualifying. So every time the car is on track, it has a light fuel load. Um, we also close off some of the cooling to the car just to maximize the performance and maybe do a five lap run. Most runs are three laps long. Uh, we're trying to work through our primary set of tires, which are the black sidewall tires, and then eventually end up on the reds to get a feeling and to understand what we need for qualifying based on the reds. We have to do all that in 45 minutes. And we have numerous engineering meetings that take place. Um, so we'll typically have one before a session and then get together following the session. Uh, the collaboration that exists amongst all the engineers, the four drivers, the four lead engineers for each specific car, and then also from the manufacturer. Um, all of that really weighs in and helps us uh, take advantage of the data, take advantage of the track time, and put our best foot forward as an organization. You know, I, I do the best that I can, the team does the best that they can, but then next is qualifying and you gotta, you know, it's time to lay it on the line. So those two moments, I, I found that I'm still learning and growing so much as a driver that um, trying to find that 100% mark is key. I've also learned that my progression as a driver, when you get to Sunday and you have the warm up and then the race, my learning is still, still taking place and it's easy for me to over exceed and over extend what, my, what I'm capable of right now and I've made some mistakes. So the team and I have worked hard about making um, Friday and Saturday about a perceived 100% effort. When we get to Sunday, it's about making laps. I, I felt like the morning warm up went really well for me in Long Beach. We started the race, uh, made some minor changes, and I just couldn't find my flow. I was just struggling on track. Thankfully, you know, pulling it back to 90%, I didn't make a mistake that took me out. We uh, got onto the final set of tires for the final stem of the race. There was a caution that bunched up the field, and before I knew it, I had you know, three or four cars immediately in front of me that I had more pace than, and it was a matter of figuring out how to pass them safely and, and have a nice result. I felt really good with my last stint in the race car at Long Beach. Um, I, I literally just needed every lap I could to get to that comfortable place to, to really be as quick as I needed to in that concrete jungle of a, of a city circuit. Great job, Jimmy. All day long, man. Great job. All season. Great work with you.
It's, it's really been a pleasure being a part of CGR and the family that exists within uh, the walls of, of the organization. Um, I've some old friends there that I've, I've known for a long time and then certainly made some new friends. And kind of in that journey is, is meeting Alex Pelo and getting to know him. Um, and I felt like with his rookie season being last year, we would have a lot, of, a lot in common in the 2021 season. And quickly I realized we had very little in common. When that confetti's flying and the energy from the individuals on the team, even though I'm not directly on that team, but just stepping on the stage, like I could, I could feel that and remember that from my moments of standing on the stage and experiencing it. Oh, man. Nice, nice hey, work. Man. Congrats. Enjoy it. To see, you know, behind the scenes, all the work and effort that's gone into it. Look everyone in the eyes and shake everyone's hand, and then to see Alex and, and congratulate him. Um, it, it did stir up my own experience and memories, but it also um, just made me happy for him that, that he was in that moment with it. Man, being a rookie is tough, and it's been a long time since I've, I've been a rookie. Um, for me, there was a, a big sense of accomplishment that I, I completed my rookie season in the IndyCar series and happy to tear off that, that neon uh, stripe it's off official. the back of the car. There's this neon stripe on the back of the car that signifies rookie. This baby's coming off. Thank you, boys. <laughs> and my goals are just to continue building on, on what, I've, what I've started. I feel like in you know, the last three or four races, I made a huge step up in, in comfort and confidence in the car. And I, I feel like a good goal for me would be to start qualifying in the, the teams, and then I think I can finish in the low teams in the race. And I think that'll kind of be the progression for me is starting further up in the field will then set me up for a better performance on race day. And you know, in all honesty, I, I really hope to to run in the consistently in 15th or better, and then start knocking on top tens and uh, and take it from there at the start of the next season. That was a fantastic day, my friend. That's a hell of a thing to go into the off season with. We're going to build off this so much more next year. It's going to be fun, and I'm looking forward to it.